Hi, I'm Robin with AppleiPhoneApps.com and I'm here to bring you a first look at an application called Better Christmas List. This application is currently going for $2.99 in the App Store and it's designed to help you keep on budget and keep your gift giving organized during the Christmas season. Better Christmas is a great little application, especially with the holidays right around the corner. This application allows you to keep track of your budget as well as all the gifts that you wanna get for your friends and family to make sure that you don't spend too much money. All right, now when you open the application Better Christmas list, at the very top you see 17 days left to Christmas, which is a great feature so you know exactly how much time you have left. To the left of that, you can click on that little bell there, and it brings up, you can change the home screen count on or off, and you can also set a passcode here. Now, this is a great feature to have, especially since you don't want anyone to see what you're getting them for Christmas or Hanukkah. So you can put that on or off. I'm gonna leave it off. I don't think anybody's gonna be looking at my phone anytime soon. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit done up there. Now, also to the right here, you have a little plus, and from the main screen, you can add a gift, add a person, or add a group. Let's see what add a gift looks like. Now, when you add a gift, it's going to bring up a couple categories that I already have. These are people that I already have in my family and in my friends. So it might, if I want to add a gift to one of those, I can do so here. Hit cancel. Hit the add button again. You can add a person, and then it will bring up actually the different categories, family and friends. And if we hit add a group, we can actually add a whole new group. All right, let's go back for one second and see what I've already actually added. Now, the first thing where it says details, you can see that I have three gifts remaining and one to buy and two to mail. Now, here you can see that I have spent $125 and in my budget, I have $200 left. All right, if you scroll down a little bit, you see my family category. I have one gift remaining, and by the way, the details is a total of all of my categories. All right, but down here in family, it says I have one gift remaining. All right, so let's click on that and see what we have. So we have um, my brother and sister-in-law here, Dave and Andrea. They're in my family category. And down here, it shows the gifts that I want to purchase for them. So if you click on that, you can actually modify the gifts. So here I've selected dog training. It's about $50. Um, I still have to search for this online. But, and so I've actually accidentally hit shipped, but I want to hit not purchased yet, which is the empty shopping cart. So down here at the bottom, you can see progress. You have not purchased yet. This is actually going to be mailed and this is transaction complete. This gift is done and it's out of here. So, but I'm going to hit not purchased yet. Okay. And something cool about this application is that each screen you go to, you don't really have to save. It does that for you. All right. So let's go back. Now, also, as you can see, let me just click on this one more time. Every time you go forward into a screen, in order to get back, it has a nice little arrow showing you where you're going back to. So now I want to go back to Dave and Andrea, okay? And I want to go back to the main screen. There we go. Now down here in my friends, it's pretty much the same thing. It gives you how much you've spent, the budget, and my friend here, Alina. So let's click on her. And I've actually already purchased a couple of these gifts. So Alina, um, I originally wanted to get a fondue book for her. And as you can see, you can enter notes in that section. Um, she's in my friend category and then down here are a couple gifts that I want to get for her or have gotten one of them I'm not I have not purchased yet and one of them I have so here a cheese wheel if you click on that you see all the details about that gift um, I've selected I want to spend about $25 on this gift you can I want to search Trader Joe's website to see what kind of cheese I can get for her because she loves it and down here I still have not purchased it yet so I'm going to keep that as is all right let's go back Okay, so that's pretty much it for the friends and family. Now, if you want to create a new group, like I said before, just hit that right-hand corner, and we're going to add a group. All right, now here you can put the name of the group. Just click on that. I'm going to put Work Buddies. Okay, and put a budget here of $100. Okay, and I'm going to hit save. So for that screen, you actually do need to hit save when you're creating a new group. Okay, so then if you go scroll down on the main screen, you could see that group has been created. Okay, now go into there, and I'm going to show you how to actually add a person to that group. Just hit that right-hand corner, and you have the choice to add a gift or add a person. Now, since I haven't actually added any persons, I want to add that first. Okay, so now I'm just going to type in my friend G from work. 
there. Doesn't like his name. See, now, normally when you click on uh, a phrase that comes up and you want to get rid of it, you click on it, but this is not letting me do that. It's actually putting it in when I do that. All right, so I'm just going to leave it. I know what that means. Okay, so in here we can put any notes about the gift that I want to get for him. And now I want to actually add his gift. So I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to click on here and put add. Okay, now I can actually add details about his gift. All right, so here let's just say... Um... To get him a bowling book since he's really into bowling these days. Okay, and I'm gonna spend about $15. All right, any other notes you can put them in here and progress I have not purchased this yet. And so I'm done with that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. All right, so that's pretty much how you add a new group and add a friend to that group. Let's go back to Work Buddies and it brings you back to this screen with all your work buddies and then I'm gonna to go to 17 days left and it brings you back to the main screen. It says it will. It keeps you organized with your gift giving and helps you keep on a budget. It has a cute user interface and add as many users as you want. The only thing I'd like to see in an update is to maybe add a section where you can see the gifts that I haven't wrapped yet. But other than that, I'd say this is a great application for the holiday season. For more application information, please check out our website at appleiphoneapp.com. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our podcast on iTunes. I'm Robin, and I'll sync with you next time.